Hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel, Dodgy Gamer here, and after a long hiatus we're bringing you another guide to making international tournaments in the FM editor. In today's quick guide we're going to be looking at how to seed the knockout rounds after a group stage. But before we get into that, a quick reminder that this channel is your one-stop shop for all things international and small club management on Football Manager, so make sure you've hit that like button. If you subscribe to the channel you've got the bell on for notifications so you don't miss any of our club and country let's plays, our international tournament guides, or our guides to the murky world of the FM editor. Okay, so to start off here, we've gone back to FM 21. Now, I'm not resurrecting the international manager of Mystery Save. Not yet. That's coming later in the year. But this is just to show you the problem that I'm going to show you then the solution of how to fix. So we can see over here the group stage of a tournament I've created, the Bangabandu Gold Cup has been played and we had Iran and Liberia qualifying from Group A, Saudi Arabia and Fiji qualifying from Group B. So the way these tournaments work of course we all know first place from one group plays second place from the other group to make the semi-finals. However what we've got here is first versus first, Saudi Arabia versus Iran and second versus second, Fiji versus Liberia. So how do we avoid this? Well, that's what we're going to look at now in the FM22 editor to make sure we get this tournament right for the new game. So to do this, we're going to have to go into advanced rules. So I've already created the competition. I've already created the group stage and the knockout rounds and the teams. If you're wondering about that kind of thing, you can go and check out my previous videos. They were made in the FM21 editor, but every step I've checked it all, it's still valid for FM22. So we go to advanced editor rules and we choose our competition and we come down to stages. Now we don't need to touch the group stages. That's all working fine. What we need to look at is stage one, the cup. This is the semi-final round the round immediately after the group stage. So we go into the drop down menus, uh, the teams we check, okay these are qualified teams from stage O semi-final so it's getting those four teams but it's just then randomly putting them together. Now there's two ways we can go about making sure the winner of group A plays the runner up in group B and the runner up in group A plays the winner of group B. I'm going to talk you through both of them. Sometimes I, I do both of them in the editor just to make sure. So the first thing we can do actually is right here to make sure those teams have a seeding. So we've got this instruction, get qualified teams from the previous stage. And if we scroll down a bit, you'll see here it puts them into the semi-final. Then we've got this thing here, top position, bottom position. So if we tick both of those, we make it top position zero, bottom position zero. Now the way the editor works, position zero means first. I know it's a little bit weird, but you'll just have to get used to it. Then we click on seeding method. All teams get the same seeding, also zero. So that means the two first place teams are now going to have the same seeding. Now, if we just come up here and duplicate this, and then we just change the numbers. So top position one, bottom position one, that's going to make the file make the game look at the second place teams again it says one but it's second and then the seeding we're going to do is one so that means our group winners are going to have seeding zero and our group runners up are going to have seeding one next thing we come down here to where it says rounds and then we drop down this menu as well and then it says round zero semi-final four teams two matches okay good so we go into general first and we're just going to scroll down until we get to draw rules and we want to set this to fixed draw 1v2 3v4 etc and from there we scroll down here to valid cup draw rules we're going to enable this then we're going to add two rules in here for the game to apply when pairing these teams so first we want to select this keep teams from the same previous group apart so that means you won't get the winner of Group A playing the runner-up of Group A in the semi-final. Then we're going to add a second rule, and this time it's going to be place seedings together. Seeding 1, we're going to put 0. Remember, 0 represents the seeding of the group winners. Seeding 2 is the runners-up. So with these rules in place, we should get the winners of Group A playing the runners-up of Group B, and then the winners of Group B playing the runners up of group A. I did say there was a second way to do that and the other way is to use cup tie mappings. But if we enable this, 
we just have to add a line. Now this tie index, zero, that will mean the first semi-final. And then we've got home and away team index. Now even though we've set up an international tournament and it's in a neutral host venue, we don't need to worry about the home and away, that's just for ordering the teams. Now, what we've got is four teams have qualified to the semi-finals and it works like this. The first team in group A is numbered zero in the FM editor system. The second team in group A is one, the winners of group B are two, and the runners up in group B are three. I know it sounds complicated, but just trust me on this. So if we set this to say the first semi-final should be team zero versus team three, that will mean team zero is the winner of group A, team three is the runner up of group B. We're gonna add a second line and we want to make this tie one for the second match. And this time, we're going to put in two as the home team, so that's the winner of Group B, and one as the away team, that will be the runner-up of Group A. Now for Stage 2 Cup, this is the final, so we don't need to do anything for that. It's just going to take the two semi-final winners and place them together. Now if we had a larger tournament, say 16 teams, four groups of four, then you would just add two more lines here to make your quarter-final round. You would number the other matches two and three, and then you would continue that numbering to match the Group C winner with the Group D runner-up. You would then need to go ahead to the semi-final round to do the same thing to make sure the winners of quarter-final one played the winners of quarter-final two, but you get the idea. So now we just need to save our editor data. It's always a good idea to save it with a slightly different name, version two, so in case something goes wrong you can easily come back. And once it's saved, you'll see up in the corner it says not verified, so we just need to test the rules. Okay, so now we see the test is almost done. It takes about two to three minutes. I guess it depends on how fast your computer is. But once it's run this test, we will see in a moment, hopefully, I thought I'd timed this better. There we go. Now it says Bangabandu Cup V2 verified. We just need to make sure we save again. And now, when we go into the game, we can test this out. So now, like any good editor user, we need to test our file. So we come over and start a new game in career mode. From the database options, we just scroll down, and there you go. Our verified version of the Bang Bandu Cup is selected. We click Confirm. Now, I'm just going to test this. So what I will do, a little hint for you, if you're testing these international competitions and you don't fancy spending ages waiting to holiday through. I am just gonna start with the Indian League. Why? Because it's a near neighbor of Bangladesh? Well, not really. It's because of the start date. We can choose a start date of the 6th of December 2021 and the Bangabandu Cup should be taking place in January 2022. So I've just added myself as an unemployed manager and we want to check Bangabandu Cup. Right, so here we are, it's a kind of moment of truth over here. I've holidayed through to the end of the competition, so we see the group stage results. Palestine topping Group A with Afghanistan runners up, Madagascar topping Group B with Bangladesh runners up. So it should be Palestine, Bangladesh and Madagascar, Afghanistan in the semi-finals. And that's what we've got. So we see that Palestine would beat Bangladesh. Afghanistan would lose out to Madagascar, and Madagascar would beat Palestine in the final. Do let me know down in the comments if anything was unclear, or if you've got anything else, any other questions about setting up tournaments in the editor that you'd like me to answer. Also remember you can download the Bangabandu Cup and many other international competitions I've created from the Steam Workshop. Links in the description. You can also become a Patreon supporter if you want access to even more tournaments, to youth tournaments, to fantasy tournaments. If you want to request the tournament, become one of my top tier Patreon supporters and we can sort that out for you. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and found it useful, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, you hit the like button, you get the bell on for notifications so you don't miss any future editor guides. But for now, I'm Dodgy Gamer. Thanking you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.